I have a really large family, and I grew up in a really like toxic, negative environment. I was always kind of like bullied and picked on. I helped my family out financially, like my siblings, and they just I feel like they just use me. And as soon as they're done using me, they're back to just being mean to me and making me feel just like I don't belong. And I truly feel like I do things to overcompensate and to try to like buy my siblings love. And at what point do you cut off toxic family? Yeah, now. Yeah, now. Let me, let me help you. Now, that seems like it's easier said than done, but I want to show you something. If you come from a toxic situation, now you've grown up, God has obviously gotten you through it and allowed you to move forward in your life where you're doing well for yourself now. See, in spite of the toxicity, God has allowed you to come out on the other side. You're actually doing well for yourself now. See, here's what people do. Here's, I, we got, everybody's guilty of this, including myself. I've done it to myself. I can't tell you how many times. How many times has God gotten you through something and you stay right there? You keep referring back to it. You keep putting your foot back over in the frying pan. You keep sticking your foot in the fire. How many times has God brought you through something and you stay there mentally? You keep beating yourself up for the baby you had. You beat yourself up for dropping out of school, flunking out of school. You beat yourself up for that relationship you stayed in too long. But he got you through it. He got you through this relationship with your family. Now, instead of you accepting the fact that he got you through it, you keep dabbling in it. You want them to be different, and they're not. Then you buy them something, they treat you good, then as soon as they get through eating the dinner or using your car, then they write back to treating you funky. It's time to cut your losses. See, just cause they family, and family can be some of the most detrimental people to you because you feel an obligation because they're your family. That does not mean you have to become them. It doesn't have to mean you have to stay back, keep going with them. Find yourself some really great friends. Because let me tell you something. I don't have a mother or a father anymore. I don't have my oldest brother no more. Two of my very, very best friends is gone. You can live in this world without your mother. A lot of people gonna have to do that. You can live in this world with your, without your father. A lot of people can do that. But you can't live in this world without a friend. You have to have a friend. Thank you very much. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.